And then the idea is, if it fits like that, it just goes through there. <coughs> the first actual run. Pull the handle. It doesn't work! And if this were the early 1930s, there'd be the soothing sound of water and places to sit. In those days, it was known as the Garden Court. But that was before Diego River... Everything on the radio floor is whispered nowadays, just to make it seem a little bit more intimate. Celebrating Detroit's incredible industrial successes. AMSR, M. Amasarama. At the Detroit Institute of Art. It was a place where we okay. there were plants and I'm going to do this in the style of Radio 4 because that seems to be all rage nowadays. Mike Forager's been crafting in his shed. He's a gardener but also makes things out of wood sometimes. Or maybe um, sometimes uses steel to his old car, which is a dilapidated old car, which is sat in the driveway now. Um, he's basically made a uh, can crusher. You uh, you lift the handle, an ingenious wooden invention. Um, it's crafted out of raw tantalised timber, and Fourth time the handle is brought down, and it, will it hold or will it snap? Will my camera ever focus on anything? Will the handle snap? Who knows? It's made of a piece of roofing cloth that was in my little wood store there. The most high point of pressure is right here on the pivot. Hear the sound that can be crushed under the enormous pressure brought down above, but no, the handle has snapped again. Michael's going to go have to um, go back to the drawing board and maybe use some oak or a piece of plywood instead, and possibly reinforce the whole thing. With Gorilla Glue, it seems that there's too much pressure on the wood grain and it splits along the grain. Ugh. 